Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, today, I just want to show you the evolution of the constraint uh, widget. So on the right here, we have the current version, uh, 0.20, and that's my development version on the right, on the left, sorry. So uh, some people asked for this uh, widget to be reworked because it's very large, so it's like prevent you from collapsing more the task view if you don't want to lose like the information. And besides, it's not very clear. Um, the UI is not very intuitive. It's pretty um, difficult to understand. So um, first, let me show you how that use. Uh, let me show you how it uh, looks now. So you see, it looks much smaller, and you will see it's maybe more intuitive. So basically what this uh, was doing is that you had a combo box here where you, you could select a single uh, filter. So let's say geometric and then you it filtered by a geometric type. So let me add another, let me add a length uh, here um, to show you. You see here only geometrics and uh, all and it doesn't appear. Well, that's interesting. Oh, well, there you have. So the idea is that you could uh, filter, but only by one thing. So you couldn't get like coincident uh, and uh, parallel at the same time. So what they did is that they implemented another feature, which was this button, select multiple. And here you can actually select exactly which you want. So if you select geometrics, uh, maybe let's say we select, we remove geometrics and datum. And we only want uh, coincidence and, um, I don't know, horizontal, for ex example. And reference and name uh, are like special cases. But let's, let's say you want that. So once you have like your multiple filter, you see the combo box. In the combo box, it becomes the, this special option, which is multiple filters. And if you want to change it again, you lose the multiple uh, uh, filter. But it's it's like convolut convoluted and it's not very intuitive. Uh, besides, you had two special cases, which was associated constraints and the selection filter. Uh, and what those did is that you select first um, an edge and then you select associated constraints and it will show you all the constraints that are connected to this edge. And besides, you could also, let me go back to all, you could also co select a few constraints and then go in selection filter and then it shows only. Okay, so that was uh, not exactly optimal. So let's see how it can be done now. Uh, so now you have only one button which show the filter and you see it shows you a list which is actually the same list as this one but which has been integrated here and the combo box has actually been removed completely so the idea is that here you can select the um, the um, constraints that you want so if you want uh, to remove datums so datums is the category of all distances radius angle and so on um, then you can click it and you see it updates directly and you click in geometric and you have nothing left maybe you want con incidence and vertical and so it's much easier to use um, one thing that i changed compared to the, to this is that i reordered them such that you have like you see under geometric you have all the geometric coincidence uh, constraints under datum, you have all the datum constraints, um, so which is like a tree structure, but it's still the same list view, um, right? So you can hide the filters, show the filters. You can remove so what you don't want, hide the filter. Um, what's more is that you have now uh, like this button it just reset the filter so it just reset to show all and uh, and then you have two additional buttons which lets you do um, what we had here with the associated constraint and filter and selection filters so basically if you want you click you select an edge and then you want this 
constraints associated to that edge, you just click that button. And so in addition to be able to work, to be, uh, in addition to be easier to use, you also have the possibility to use the filter on top of that, uh, um, uh, of that tool. So let's click here to reset that. Let's say you want, uh, you want only uh, the datum, so you don't want the geometrics. Well, here I have only one, so let me add a uh, second one. Yeah, of course, you don't want, uh, okay. So you, you see we have two because I selected uh, only datum's um, constraints. And then I, I want to select only the, uh, the um, constraint associated to this. So it's not pos now possible, right? Um, but mainly it's more easier, it's easier to use. Uh, and also for the selection, you can select a few constraints, you click select and you rest, you filter based on your selection. So there's also that. Uh, so yeah, so that's nice. The second thing that has been improved is the settings. So before you had like a setting button in which you had like three checkboxes, um, which opened in the new window. And you also had this weird button, like you can click it, but it does nothing. And you can click here and it shows like one of the settings checkbox. Show only filtered. You see it's this one, show only filtered constraints. So I'm not sure why it was like that, but it's kind of weird. So I just removed that button and I apply the same style as was there. So if you click here, you have like the three settings, extended information, for instance, and you see you have the the settings which applies. And so, yeah, I think it's, it's maybe better like this. And so the third thing that has been changed is those buttons here. Um, let me reset that. So what show listed and hide listed did is that it just check all of that or it uncheck them all and you see you don't see them anymore because basically you see the constraints only if they are checked which is the purpose of those check boxes and so basically those buttons is just like click them all and unclick them all so I just replace that by a checkbox uh, all which initially I wanted to put in uh, inside the list view, but it was technically too difficult. So um, uh, that has been, um, I implemented like this. So, well, that's pretty much it for today. So if you enjoyed uh, this video, consider liking and subscribing. And if you like my work on FreeCAD, consider uh, backing me on Patreon or PayPal or whatever. Well, thanks and have a good day. Bye-bye.